Tunisia and Ghana. A very warm welcome. You're watching Diaspora Colors. I am Hortensia Mushai. I am super delighted to have an amazing group in studio with me today. They are GCC based in Vienna, but they decided to add a little bit of sass to what they do and took the world by storm when they added um, their dance moves to the Vienna fashion. We cannot love to introduce them to studio today. GCC, welcome to the studio. And you see we have like four of them today so I want each of you to introduce yourselves to our audience and let them know a little bit about yourselves. So my name is Chi Chi, I'm 29 years old, and a member of the Gold Cavio crew. Um, I'm working full time as a marketing social media agent and yes. Um, hi, I'm Jessica, I'm 28 years old, I'm also full time worker. I work as a video editor and motion designer, and yeah, also a member of GCC. <laughs> yeah, hi, <laughs> my name is Lonu, and I'm originally from Nigeria, like most of us, and she's from, she'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take that away. And I'm 29 years old, was born and raised in Vienna, Austria. I work full-time as well in a law firm, and yeah, I'm excited to be here. Hi, my name is Lucy. Um, I'm 30 years old. Um, my mother is from Austria, my dad's from Cameroon, and I'm a member of GCC, and I'm a model. Yeah. Excellent. Welcome to the studio. It is really amazing having you guys here. <laughs> um, so we are just going to jump straight in. How did you come together as GCC? And maybe you could also tell us, we know you as GCC, but could you just give us a description of GCC, what it stands for, and how you guys came together? So, um, yeah, we're dancing for some years now, like five or six years, I think, as this group, but we usually were two different groups. Like Chichi had a group with her sister and with other friends, and Lulu, Lucy and I had a dance group. And I don't know how, but we decided to form one big group. And um, we just wanted to actually just do some sport, like just, um, just to, yeah, just to dance together. But then people ask us, and um, they said we should actually um, teach maybe because we are. Do we? They loved our what, what we do, and they said you, you could probably be good in teaching or, um, lessons, Afro dance, because in Vienna you don't really have Afro dances here. Right. Um, yeah. So we started. And we, cre we created GCC, uh, which stands for Gold Caviar Crew. And yeah, do you want to tell how we <laughs> came up with that name? <laughs> um, so when we decided to form our group, we were like thinking about names and thought about words that like sounded like special or would fit like our style or who we are. And then we put everything, wrote everything on letters, put it in a pot and just draw like some random words. Picked. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> exactly. And that's how the name came together. And it, it suits you like perfectly. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> so you started dancing. I mean, of course, we had a, vi a viral video that was going around. But as you started dancing, how did you find the industry before then? How was the industry for you? Mm, well, it depends. Do you mean like, for example, in Vienna, Austria or internationally? Just ge generally. Generally? Yeah. Because 
we have like I have the feeling that nowadays when you're on Instagram for example or on YouTube you see a lot of dancing videos like everybody dances or everybody loves to share dancers and all the artists work with dancers but for example in Vienna Austria it wasn't really like that but we do like we did know uh, a friend of ours who sings and she was like yeah we should you know dance for her in her video and we did that and I think from then on we got even more confident and we were as Jesse said we were ready to teach more and create an Instagram account because it took us a while to create that Instagram account it's not even two years old it's one year and few months I'm not sure like four months maybe so yeah and now I have the feeling we obviously since we went viral um, we have a very good reach on Instagram and we try to use it as often as we can and yeah the feedback has been great so great and now you went viral did you expect did you expect this to happen <laughs> no not at all <clears throat> we were so overwhelmed um, we thought yeah it it came overnight so we just posted that video mm -hmm. and um, you know the likes came and the followers came and we, we thought okay this is going to be a big thing um, but uh, yeah the people um, the comments from the people were so nice and so lovely and we just um, thought yeah we have to like express ourselves more and mm. maybe um, tell the people what we're doing and um, what we stand for women empowerment and body positivity and that you can do everything um, as long as you want it, mm. yeah. No right. matter how and you look or something, yeah. Yeah, excellent. And since then, what has come from, from, because it's one thing to be popular, but then what comes out of that popularity? Could you maybe touch on a bit of that or tell us what opportunities have come since you took the world by storm? <laughs> um, so we had a couple of interviews um, here in Austria and also international. Um, one of the big things we were able to do is like go to Nigeria as a group. We were invited to perform um, at the wedding book release slash birthday party. And it was amazing for us all being there and being able to perform there. We also had like a magazine cover for a Nigerian um, like um, not just a published um, magazine. Also, a couple of months back, we were in London for the London Fashion Week. We came there with the designer. We met right. in Nigeria. This was like an amazing experience for us. And even now, like people are messenger messengers wanting us to come and visit like other cities, other states. And we also have like plans coming up for next year, also some events. And yeah. That's so plenty of opportunities. Yeah. And, and with that coming, um, you're all working in very different fields right now. I mean, you have dance, which puts you together, but then when you have this one thing that brings you together and um, uh, brings you to a, another level of life, maybe we're not even ready for, how are you planning to make sure that you either stay and you know, your career paths or take dancing as the one thing that you're doing? Because this is really big. Um, I would say um, we still try to figure out because everything came so fast, but um, we kind of managed it very well so far. And I think because we are in different fields, it even helps us because like, like Lulu said, she works in law firms, so she's helping us out when, we, when it comes with, yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, like Chichi said, she works in a media agency, um, if it comes to, um, following and um, how to present ourselves in the social media field that's like that's where she's coming in i'm doing the videos um, lucy's helping us out with like everything with fashion and how we should present ourselves because she's always in front of the camera so um it's going to be difficult it's going to be a challenge for us but it also helps us so we'll find a way and yeah most definitely, but you do plan to stick together and bring this um, to the course. best of your ability. Yeah, we're definitely yeah, trying to do the most of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like Chichi said, uh, next year we, s we already have um, some bookings or one major booking that we're excited about. Mm -hmm. And yeah, 
Yeah. So. Oh, great. And uh, what is the feedback from the community in Vienna? Because mm. I can tell you, you know, Vienna is, is it's a great city, but I mm. think, um, I always think that we have our community, but we are just, you know, there mm. and there's so much that's happening in the mm. world. Mm. And I think a lot of people in Vienna got to see this viral video because it was out there. Mm. Mm. So what has the feedback been from, from people here? It's been good so far. I think people like it. People, most of the people know us yes. already. So um, if you walk on the street and a young African woman walks towards you and yes. says, yeah, I know your video. It's right. so amazing. It feels so good. Yeah. I think most, most of the people know it. And yeah, it's yeah. great. So good. Yeah, <laughs> that representation of, of Vienna, because, you know, as always, um, when we are known as, a, you know, a small country as compared to the world, but then such beautiful talent mm. comes out of here. I think mm. it, it has really shone a light on what is here. Yeah, mm. true. And, and it's just great yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> expect from GCC in the near future? Mm. I think you're going to see us on more stages. Um, we would really like to go international, so probably um, on some international stages, doing choreography for like bigger stars or uh, on other fashion weeks and events. And yeah, we're still like um, taking every opportunity we are getting. Mm. So we're open for bookings and everything. So yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, we also still love to um, do workshops. So, and also collaborate with artists. Um, like Lou said, we love to work with our art, um, with our singer Rosemary, and also help her. And what else? Mm, yeah, we also like. You know, how, how should I say? Like, we like that people are even asking us for help sometimes like because we got like messages um, about how they feel better and um, how they um, love to see what we're doing and we should keep up so we're still gonna do um, what we're just doing now going to like do some dance videos gonna post it and um, hopefully we are Getting booked by who knows Beyonce or most <laughs> definitely, <laughs> but <why not>? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's about that time. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you want to add something to that? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's been said. Yeah. You want to add something um, to that? Well, I think they've said so much, but. Maybe also highlight that modeling, since she also models a lot, yes. that we should also, like she said as well, more runways, not only choreographed, but just, you know, right. photo shootings for designers. Right. Working with different designers never happened before we went viral. <laughs> like, not for me, maybe for her, definitely. But so now um, I think it's really nice. It's fun. Mm -hmm. And dancing is something that, you should do everywhere. So we give workshops here in Vienna, but I think it would be amazing if we would definitely give workshops outside of Vienna, Austria, different parts in Europe, Africa, mm -hmm. the US were available. Right. I think that's the, the beautiful thing about uh, the generation and era that we're living in. You can be on one career path, but you don't know how many doors it's going to open. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, so exactly. uh, which brings me to the question, why did you decide to do this dance at the Vienna Fashion Week? It's not common. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> we were asked if we could open the um, uh, part, the uh, African part, uh, for the Color of the World closing show at the Vienna Fashion Week. And um, actually, it was a dancer that asked us 
to, if we could perform. I don't know his Instagram handle, but his name is Ivan and he's working yeah. for Mario Soldo. Okay. Uh, yeah, he did uh, organization with him and or oh, helped him and um, yeah, he, he was the one asking us. So we said, yeah, why not? Um, and we came up with our choreography and um, Mario said, yeah, it's good, just do your thing. And we thought, okay, it's nice to combine it with walking. Yeah. So we just did our thing and we never thought that it would be like this Whatever big like was. this. Yeah, <laughs> and it was her mom with us on the stage. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. in the beginning, yeah. the woman. Yeah. 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 That's her mom. Yeah. Oh my, how is, how is she taking that? How is, <laughs> does she recognize <laughs> what this is? Oh my God, <laughs> that, that's a good question. Because you know? um, at first she was like excited and happy and yeah. in shock. Yeah. Because, you, you know, everybody messaged her and called her. And then it got to a point where she was like, okay, can't you turn it? Like, it's, it's everywhere. Yes. Like, you know, let's, let's relax. And I was like, no, mom, you have to get used to this. Right. <laughs> we love this. And she yeah. was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but she was overwhelmed. Oh, great. Definitely, yeah. How, how was the rest? How, how was your family taking this? I think they were all, like, really proud of us. But, um, like, proud, proud. Yeah, yeah. Like my yeah. mom tried like in so many groups. Like, yeah, yeah, that's my daughter. Yeah. Whatever. Like even my aunt is from Nigeria messaged me mm -hmm. saying the thing that, that that they um saw the video yes. and how happy they are yeah. for me and that we're great dancers and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think we got like a lot of love and um support from our family and friends mm -hmm. and we appreciated it because yeah, it was nice to see like everyone cheering for us and supporting us. Right, mm. right. Yeah, my co-workers were like, oh, now I know a celebrity. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. calm down, calm down. But was, no, it's like, they're also proud. And um, what I loved is that one of my co-workers has actually um, a daughter and he's like, yeah, you are a role model. Do you know that? Like, you're a role model to younger women and girls and ladies. Like, you did really something good because you, you guys were very confident and like, um, how should I say, with the um, um, confident and like just being happy on the stage mm -hmm. and um, gave them strength actually. So yeah, mm -hmm. they were really like happy mm -hmm. to see that what we were doing. All right, your family? My family, yeah, they, they're very proud, very happy. <laughs> and my dad wants to be our manager, but I think <laughs> yeah, this is what, what, um, yeah. what our parents all want to be. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, they're very happy, they're very proud, and yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. um, being in art myself as well, you know, and also like all of us doing this, up, um, I come from Kenya and growing up, you know, art is not seen as a career. You know, yeah, it's not it's seen true. as something that you do and, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, every, but we, with time we've come to prove that yes, we can do what we're doing and it is as marketable and as good. Mm -hmm. So what would you want to tell that younger generation that is coming up and looking into arts because we have been able to make it as a career? Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell all the young people out there? Don't give up. <laughs> and do what you love you can obviously you can definitely like all of us did like get your education yes. make sure that you know you, do, you don't have any plan b's or you don't have any empty pockets right. and follow that path definitely get advice get more information but also follow your heart so don't be afraid to share your passion and make a way there's always a way like obviously it's easier said than done but like what we did, we danced because we just loved it. Mm -hmm. Like we didn't know that people were gonna book us or that we're gonna go viral. We just did we what just we love to do, and yeah. now, yeah, now it's really a blessing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'd say. To yeah. Tell everyone. Yeah, to um, don't be afraid to risk something sometimes. Mm. I mean, like she said already, that you always have to have something you can lean on, mm. but. Um, you can do so many things and also go out there and <clears throat> yeah, you don't have to be skinny, tall and blonde to to represent something, represent what you are. Just be yourself and, and make sure you're happy. Mm -hmm. What would I say? Um, it comes with sacrifices, of course, but you have to get through with this and like at the end, you will see the success, the outcome mm -hmm. and um, like they said already, don't give up, even though there are times when you think 
is it really worth it? Um, I have spent so much time on it. I'm not sleeping or anything. It's like, as long you had fun, as long you like, when you see it and you can be proud of yourself, then it, then it's fine. <laughs> and you always can come back to and do something else. And I think we are all lucky that we have um, very, um, how should I say, uh, families there like behind us and helping mm -hmm. us and also friends. Like <laughs> our friends are actually um, do, um, doing the music for us sometimes mm -hmm. and they're recording us mm -hmm. and taking pictures. So mm -hmm. just like, if you need help, ask your friends, <laughs> ask your family. They're probably gonna support, tell you, support you and they tell you if it's good or not good. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah, I would also say like, don't be afraid to ask for help. Because mm -hmm. even for us, I mean, we've been dancing for like over six years before we started doing our page. And it was also um, because a friend was like told us, why don't you have like an Instagram page? What are you doing? You've been dancing for so long. Like, mm -hmm. why haven't you started like something? <laughs> and we're like, oh yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we should do it like next week or something. I'm like, no, like, do it now. now. <laughs> like, what are you waiting yeah, for? Right, right. So I would say just just do whatever you like and do it now. Don't like, don't mm -hmm. sleep on it. Just don't yeah, just follow your passion. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, like like I said, we, we've been dancing for six years, and it took us like six years to get where we are now mm -hmm. and we would have never expected to be like going that far so everything can happen for you right. just have to believe in it mm. right excellent uh, GCC it is such a pleasure having you in studio here with us just quickly just go through your name so that our audience knows who is who I'm Chichi Instagram at look at Chichi um, Jessica um, Instagram Miss G Wills I'm Lucy and my Instagram handle is at extra golden. And I'm Lolu. And <laughs> my, <laughs> well, my full name is Timmy Lolu, but everyone calls me Lolu. Right. And my Instagram handle is at it's Timmy Baby. <laughs> Great. And as a group, how can we connect with you online? Um, how can people reach you when they need to do bookings? So you can follow us on Instagram, which is we are GCC. On Facebook, it's called Kev called Caviar Crew and on YouTube also called Caviar Crew and for bookings it's called Caviar with an underline as a gold underline on Caviar at hotmail.de de yeah. <laughs> de yes. yeah great great it, it's been such a pleasure thank you so much for being in studio thank today you. thank you thank and you. for being part of Diaspora Colors I think this is is definitely the highlight of of my show at the end of the year and I'm so grateful oh, having you thank here you. thank you thank, thank you for having, having us. us yeah thank yes. you for coming <laughs> I would have wanted you guys to dance but we shall do it next time yeah. oh yes yeah. most <laughs> definitely pleasure in the next excellent year. thank you so much You've been watching Diaspora Colors for Radio Africa TV. I am Hortensia Mushai. I'm with you, you give me the feeling of
and I love her.